Zo, welcome back to CNC Life. And today, Carlos is rummaging through all of our messes. Yeah, I'm looking for a mask. We have, <laughs> here it is. We I have, found it. <laughs> we have mask galore in here, and honestly, it's just like a mess, to be honest. But anyways, today it looks beautiful outside, so I'm dressed in my sweatpants and my shirt. Uh, why are you wearing your sweatpants? <laughs> and it's 85 degrees outside. It's hot as heck outside, but I'm wearing sweatpants because they're just so comfortable. And I'm pretending like it's fall. I'm pretending. I'm pretending and that's why I'm going out today. I'm going to buy a bunch of fall decor. I've already bought some, you guys know, in my last vlog. But I want more. It's not enough. It's not enough. I want more. I want to be slathered in the fall decor. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. Every time I go to Hobby Lobby, though, I leave, with, I leave with nothing. Also, we need to buy some more pumpkin candles because... We've been using them every day. Yes. And it's almost out. We got these amazing pumpkin candles and they make the entire house smell amazing. Well, some of you asked us where we got those candles and we actually got those candles at Target. Target. So if we can't find them at Hobby Lobby, we'll go to Target. TJ Maxx also some of us stuff. I'm gonna be busy today. Busy. All right, I'd say this is going way better than regular decorating. Turns can't out- have enough pumpkins. No, apparently not. <laughs> Turns out, um, shopping for stuff that's not permanent is way easier than shopping for stuff that's permanent. Because these are all going to get taken down in a few months. <laughs> so if I don't like it, it's not like a horrible thing. Pumpkin scented candles. <laughs> we got scented pine cones. Some pine cones. We got this to go above the mantle. Little pumpkins here. All right, what would you pick out? Hold on, sweetie. Which one's better? All Party of them. Pumpkin. <laughs> uh, this one. Thankful and blessed. And and grateful. Well, I like all three of them, but obviously they, I love this one the most. You know That's what? Cute. Just take off. Yes. Yes. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> Are we done? No, we're not done yet. Keep it going. Seems like a lot already. Well. Carlos keeps saying no to this even though I want it so bad. You could say today's shopping trip went pretty well. Very well. Cassie found stuff. I am very good at shopping for holidays apparently. Not my actual house. We just got home. I am absolutely starving. So Carlos is gonna make food, but I thought I'd give you a little update. Finger hands back. Who is back? Hi, boys. Sit. Sit. Oh, hi, pumpkins. He is so happy to be back. And I was so worried that he wouldn't like the flooring, but he's, come here. He's doing so good walking on it. Normally on any kind of hardwood surfaces, Coda is a mess. He hates walking on them. He just wants to walk to the next rug. But like with this one, I think because it's kind of has a texture on it, he has been walking so good on it. Like way better than my mom's house and even the previous hardwood. So I am so happy about that because I was pretty worried that he was gonna hate the flooring. Anyway, so I'm gonna start decorating while Carlos makes food. First things first, I got these tablecloths. I wanna see how it looks on here. I am going all out for fall this year, guys. Hopefully this is the right sizes. We did not do any measurements. There we go. All right, let's see how it looks. Hmm. We could bring the table out if it's too long. Let's see. And bam, it actually fits perfectly to the point that if we ever needed to bring it out, which we rarely do, it won't fit if we had to bring it out. But I mean, it fits it perfectly just for this. I like it. Now I gotta get some decor on here and show it off. I'll put what we already had here, which was these. <laughs> Hopefully it flattens out, otherwise we'll just have to iron it. But I'll add some more decor to this now that I have more stuff. Here's what I end up doing here. I actually really love it. I ended up putting these little vases here with the little things that we bought, just little decorative stuff. I kept all the pumpkins here and I lit this candle. And I don't think the candle is in danger of lighting anything on fire. <laughs> but maybe if it is, I'll just turn it this way. I love this room so far. Now I'm gonna do this little area right here, which we got a couple things to put right here. I think we're still gonna add a little bit more. Carlos is gonna help me once we eat. But I ended up just putting this long strip right here. It kind of matches this one, our pumpkins. But Cece would not stop whining at us because she's bored. And while we were out, let me see. I mean, while we were out, <laughs> I bought... I I bought something for the dogs. She won't let me show you now. It's a squeaky tennis ball. <laughs> Cece loves these because she likes to. She loves them because she likes to make them not squeaky. Oh, dad's is better than mine, huh? She always wants. I one. She always wants what the other one doesn't have. Soon she'll just want Coda's too. She loves squeaky tennis balls because she likes to break them actually. And <laughs> Coda's got one too. He's playing with. No, off there. That one's yours. Yes! yes. Score! You got several of them. 
Because they like to lose them under the couches. They go under the couches and then we can't reach them. So taking a quick break to eat some leftovers. I've actually not been as picky, I feel like, the past couple days. Um, I've been much more willing to eat foods that I wasn't eating like a week ago. And I'm just absolutely starving, so maybe that's why I'm just willing to eat whatever. But we're having leftovers that we had a few days ago. This is some steak. We got bell pepper, onion, and we got some of Carlos's mom's famous rice. Look at the couch! My favorite part is this blanket. <laughs> And this morning pumpkin pillow. Uh, the rest, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we need more pillows. I don't know, because we didn't, we couldn't really get rid of these pillows. But, I don't know, what do you guys think so far? Which part, which part is your favorite part? My favorite part's this room. I think this room is like so cute. <laughs> we're working our way to the kitchen. We yeah. have a mess over there. We have too much of a mess over here to start doing it over here. So we're going to do everything else and then make our way back. This is a mesh. We're going to try putting it along the fireplace bottom. I don't know if I should just do one line in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then put pumpkins on top of it. I think you got to do the whole thing. So I got to do two pieces? Possibly. I don't know. I it's kind of I was thinking curved. just one. Just down the middle. All right, let's see how we look. All right, here's our final little cute spot. I'm not sure if this is completely finished or if we'll maybe add something else, but honestly, that's everything we had today. That much stuff at Hobby Lobby, like only did all this. Like it's crazy how much people put into their houses now. Like I'm thinking all these people are like thousands in debt from their fault decor because <laughs> it's a lot. We forgot about this area. I know, we didn't even attempt to even do anything with right here. Anyway, I put a pumpkin candle right in there. <laughs> I guess that'll do for now. And on top of that, in like a week or so, we're gonna have our, we're gonna have a TV stand here and that's gonna need decor too. So it's clear to me that <laughs> you need more. And I'm just baffled by how much money people put into fall decor. I mean, unless you're all getting yourself a Dollar Tree, it's expensive. <laughs> no, I didn't show these. These are our decorative towels that no one will be allowed to touch. <laughs> okay, we don't not, use these to dry not. your hands. No, you, you don't clean the counters with them. You just leave them right here. Oh, for I know what they're prettiness. for. You grab them and then you're supposed to sneeze on them. Right? No, that's not. <laughs> that's around. disgusting. I'm messing around. No, but these are super cute. But yeah, like I told Carlos, like let's not use these. Okay. I don't know. Let me know if you guys also think it's too soon to be decorating for fall. But excuse us. We're like during the pandemic. It's been really boring. This is the first like fun thing we've done to the house since the flooring and all that and like. I think that's what sparked it all. We got the flooring done and we were like, let's decorate the house now. <laughs> it looks really cool outside, but it's literally 90 degrees outside. It looks like a cloudy day. My bump date hasn't come out yet, but uh, as of tomorrow, I'll be 10 weeks pregnant. And we actually had an official doctor appointment the other day. And I'm gonna show you guys like the comparison in the pictures, like quality wise. This was at an ultrasound technician at eight weeks. And this was done at nine weeks, five days at the actual doctor office. And I gotta say, I am not impressed with these pictures from the actual doctor office. Let me know if you guys can see that. Do you see it? I just feel like the doctor's office pictures came out not as uh, detailed, I guess is the word I'm thinking of, because these ones, I mean, this was eight weeks too, so you gotta imagine this is almost a two week difference here. I feel like the pictures just look way different. Obviously, I'm gonna talk more in depth about my doctor appointment at the office, but overall, everything went great. We got to hear the baby's heartbeat, but yeah, I just feel like from now on, for like picture-wise and like really seeing the baby, I'm just gonna rely on the ultrasound places that like just solely do this, because I just feel like these ones weren't as cool. I had a newer technology. This was way newer technology. We could actually like see it, because like she, the, the first person over here, she had like three huge TVs, she had her ultrasound, she had everything laid out. But like obviously this one was just the one machine. I think we're getting another ultrasound later by these same people but a little more in depth because I wish they would like measure the baby and give us more information but I mean yeah. But just in comparison to these pictures and considering it's a two week difference, I don't feel like these look that different. Either way, that little jelly bean. Got a little jelly bean in here. <laughs> Make sure you guys stay tuned for my uh, bump date though coming out on Monday because I have a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about that that lady told me. Um, very interesting. But yeah, just, what do you think, Carlos? Oh, I, that one, definitely. Yeah, the only thing I liked is that this place does the heartbeat. You can hear the heartbeat. So we did get to hear it, which was really nice. Um, but we can always just use Missy's Doppler for that because I, I found the heartbeat on Missy's Doppler. So I know we can do that. This place does no audio, but you get good pictures. <laughs> Pick and choose, I don't know.